<laughs> I came back with a whole thing. There's six. The original scrunchie. So, I explained why I like scrunchies. My cat keeps stealing my hair ties. So when I use scrunchies, he doesn't tend to steal them as much. And, I use them for my YouTube channel for adults, and the kid ones I use flowers, so I don't mix them up. Because trust me, mixing them up would not be a good thing. Because I talk more adult stuff on that channel and more kids friendly stuff on that channel. You got this. <laughs> so I got a black one and I like that because it goes with everything. A gray one is decent. A pretty white one. This one looks like clouds so it's like gray and black and white. She gave me basic colors, but that is fine. Hi there again. I hope the previous video got onto this computer, but if it didn't, I'll be posting it differently. But like I said, I am trying to do a new video that I'm testing out my new stuff. I'm also wearing Kenzie, the necklace, not the real dog, of course, that'd be weird. And I'm wearing my little like apron thing just for fun. I really do like my new setup and I just did my hair for a video so that's why you're like your hair is pretty why is it pretty and I know I'm not wearing a scrunchie right now I uh, will totally go get one if you want me to be right back the reason they were in there is because I have two that are similar but I might take those out. This is one of my favorites because it's really big and I'll probably put that along with this one. The ones that I wear when I want to wear ponytails because the cat steals them or I use both so he doesn't try to steal it. I'll put this one in here for now. I have another like cloudy pink purple blue color. This one I'm going to keep. It's an invisible bubble. Bobble. And inside there's like a little thing that spins. You can kind of see it. And it's supposed to make the scrunchie tighter and easier to use. This one's really cute. Reminds me of like a bandana. I think this one might be another Jojo Sewell one. I'm not sure. These two are, so I do have like a handful of ones that I like the most, but I have like this red one with flowers, this pretty pink sparkly one, this blue one, this gray one, and a handful of them are going back where they belong, but you'll see me wear them probably.
That's a fabulous day. I know, I look a little ridiculous, but we're gonna rub this room. Rubbing in some lotion. Yes, it really does hurt my hand to do that. And I was trying not to scream on camera because no one wants to hear that. Like, at all. Oh boy. I better fix this. Sometimes you will see Kenzie and Kevin, my dog and cat, on this channel too. Kenzie is a, we believe, Chihuahua Yorkie mix. We got her about almost one or two years ago. She's a sweetie. And I love her, but we just scared her, so I'm trying to comfort her. I feel so bad that we scared her. Yes, I feel so bad that we scared Kenzie onesie. I didn't mean to. She's very confused because she has not seen my workspace yet. Kenzie here does not want to leave my arm. She is shaking. We played with one of Jade's flying pixie toys and boy did that scare Kenzie. Poor Kenzie is terrified. She's shaking in my arms right now. My poor precious, we did not mean to scare you. Scared me a little too because I wasn't expecting it to fly like that. Yo, I know flying toys scare Kenzie. Mm, but don't worry, it's not flying anymore. It's going to be recharged. No.
the disappearance and unexplained death of Haney Scott. Cindy Sh okay. Haney Scott was a 14-year-old freshman at Lomer Deer High School in Montana, where she lived on the North Indian Reservation with her mother Paula. Caster remembers her as an ambitious girl who wanted to become a doctor after graduation. On December 7th, 2018, Paula received a call from her daughter asking if she could go to Billings to attend a Native American basketball tournament. She reminded Haney that she was grounded and therefore couldn't go. Haney replied, okay, mom, I'll be home in a little bit. That was the last time Paula heard her daughter's voice. The next day, Paula took to social media to ask if anyone had seen Haney. Both no luck. Days later, both parents went to the B U R E A U of India B I A to report her missing. Paula recalled how she was dismissed by the police and asked if she had checked with her friends that maybe Haney had a f new boyfriend instead of releasing a missing persons alert that day. Police did not release one until two weeks after Haney was reported missing. The family was also left to search for Haney on their own. Their tribe community organized a search party, conspired mostly volunteers. On December 20th, Haney's body was discovered covered in snow in an area behind a house in the Muddy Creek area west of Lame Deer. Lame Deer? Lambda. I just want to say, I'm not sure how to pronounce this word. Crime cases or something. Did it for me? Yes. But I want to say that I don't believe harm or disrespect or any stuff was caused and by sometimes the cases can be really, really scary. Paula was not convinced. But I, don't I don't think, think she died true from crime hyperthermia. and creepy things. She said, Tuesday. I have pictures of her so nose being broken. Might be up twice. You can just tell her nose was broken and she um, had bruises. I just want to say I don't But they told me that there was nothing on her and that there was no foul play. The but cases, she was bruised. And police have stated that, that no charges would be filed this is in the case. case. About, As they cannot prove that a crime was committed. About. Haney's story I is only one of thousands of examples of Native American women and girls who have been gone missing. A recent New York Times article reported that in 2016, try to correct me. I might try the National to Crime it right. Information I'm not able Center to reported that 5,712 indigenous women and girls were reported missing. Ever, and I hope that you all understand Only that. Only 116 of those and sometimes cases I may or may not were reported in the missing or persons database. Or I could just tell you, like, hey, this is my opinion based on what they are saying. Like, not even a, I know this personally, but like more of a like a. This is what people are leaning okay. towards, and no, do I agree or disagree, one. but a lot of the time, I don't really know. Same so I'm going to say, like, this could be my opinion, but I really Native don't know women. personally or know the case Ask, personally, so it where really there is, like, a, attention, this is what has been said, so this is what the opinion of Gabby? other people have been. Pad and I hope Cintos y'all understand that I don't mean case disrespect the power and I do not suggest attention. you do any of this stuff that but for people indigenous have done. Communities, it also and I hope that this stuff doesn't like continue to happen. Given to missing and I hope y'all enjoy the, the case of and I missing 22-year-old Gabby more important. came to a tragic conclusion this week when the FBI reported her body had been that, found hey, in this a is national what happens. park let's in Wyoming. Careful. Let's and learn just from as this. they had been let's learn from this, let's try to get a new law in, let's try to do this, let's young try woman. to keep it new from happening again. And social media okay. platforms across the U.S. were buzzing with the terrible update. The saga highlighted the incredible power of media attention to showcase the missing person's case and help it to reach some type of timely resolution, no matter how dire. Though the search for pet, I'm calling her Gabby, killer community com continues, but for many in the indigenous community, it also further exaggerates the lack of attention and resources too often given to the scores of missing and murdered Native people in Wyoming and the rest of the country. In, re in a report released earlier this year, researchers found that between 
2011 and September 2020, 710 indigenous people were reported missing across Wyoming, and that between 2000 and 2020, indigenous homicide victims accounted for 21% of all homicides, though they make up only 3% of the state's population. Despite such a strange status, the report, a first of its kind for Wyoming, found that white homicide victims were more likely than Native American people to receive media coverage and media attention. Articles were more likely to include violent language and portray them in a negative light compared to wholesome stories about white victims. We've seen the stories talked with families that are sad and hurt that this is why their loved ones was portrayed, Emily Grant Sr. said. One of the cases featured in the report was that of Nicole Wang, a member of the Northern A-R-A-P-A-H-O tribe who has had to face the disappearance and death of two of her daughters in the last two years. One of her daughters, Jocelyn Watt, 30, who Wang described as a wonderful singer with a beautiful heart and was found shot to death in her home in central Wyoming at the beginning of 2019. Her murder has yet to be solved. A later, a year later, Wyoming filed a missing, filed a missing persons report for her younger daughter, Jade Wining. Wagon. Wagon? Yeah. 23. After she didn't return to their home on the Windy River Reservation. Weeks later, the body of her daughter, who she was outdoorsy and would always take, make her laugh, was discovered in a field. Although law enforcement claimed she died from hypothermia and drugs, Nicole Wagen said she had no doubt she was murdered. Despite the family's tragedy, there was little public attention on either of their deaths. It makes me, quote, it makes me feel like we don't matter, we're just a statistic, Wagon told the Garden, and I'm like, my kids are not statistics, they were human beings and they had lies, and regardless of what people may think or assume, they don't know their stories. The epidemic of missing Amur Native Americans tends for beyond Wyoming research recovery corner of the U.S. This is so sad that this is happening. So I hope you all give attention, learn about these cases, try to get some media coverage because this is just ridiculous. I know more about that Gabby chick than I do about these people who have been missing longer than she was. No offense. Everybody should be on equal platforms of who, like, everyone should be like, okay, we need media attention for every person who's missing. We need to get our resources and do our best to stop this from happening all the time. In April, the Department of Interior report that about 1,500 American Indian and Elastic Native people were listed as missing in the National Crime Information Center. Duchess, a member of the Tremor tribe, said for the months she put up with flyers all over the area and a post on social media, but when she tried to get her daughter's disappearance to a bored audience, she constantly came up short. Quote, all I've got in my pocket is Facebook and just social media. That's all I got. I don't get any help from any other place. I beg, I just feel left out and unimportant, she said. Vera, okay, Vera Flock, founder of Native Woman Running and a Missing and Murderous Indigenous Woman. So we need to work on helping these people find their loved ones, help figure out what went wrong, why they had this problem. And we should go support them and do our best to help get this. I don't usually like talking about this stuff, but I feel like after watching about it, reading about it, and watching YouTubers and hearing podcasts on it, I thought it would be good to bring to light what is happening.
because this is not okay. We need to work on getting more media out there and getting more search parties and getting help and telling their stories. So as much as you're like, this feels wrong to talk about, you should also feel like this is trying to help them. So I hope you don't take this the wrong way and I hope you realize I feel I'm doing my best to get the story out there.
Okay, today, the content could be a little more chore for audiences, so please, as someone before listening to this video, it's mature and may be uncomfortable for some viewers. Viewer discussion is advised. Be cautious. This is more for adults or for those who get permission.
hard to know what to at least give your money to. But yeah, I mean, listen, if it's your money, you spend it how you want to spend it. I lock my cat in the bathroom while I'm eating meals because he is being annoying and breathing into the cat. <laughs> what about his cat? No, the cat is mean. What about his face? That's an angry kitty.